Welcome to Founders Club, the show for real estate entrepreneurs. What percentage are things that you've just created like an affiliate relationship yeah. versus things you've owned and that, you, that you've started yourself? So in, in our space, there's this thing called RESPA, right? Yep. So there's a RESPA space that you have to do that correctly to make sure you check with your attorney, set it up correctly, so you got your mortgage, title, insurance, real estate in that space. Yep. Then outside of that, we set up a lot of ref share. Okay, so you know we revenue share. The reason we like that model. So, so the other side, you got to set up ownership, partnership. You do that correctly. The mortgage, title, insurance. So that that's the normal right. stuff. But what people don't realize is that that's not all of it. Probably seventy five percent. Most of it is stuff. not that's that. Exactly. Right. And yeah. People miss out on those opportunities. So the reason we like the ref share model is that as business owner, we also want to invest in things that has a return. Right. That's we don't right. want to just. Like the MSA, Marketing Service Agreement, used to be a big way, but people start getting sick of just giving you $1,000, $2,000 a month, and they're not getting the return they want. Right. Well, in the ref share model, we only get paid when they get paid. Performance-based. That's exactly it. So right. success-based. So because of that, they're willing to maybe go a little bit more. So for us on those, it's usually between 10 to 20% ref share, okay. usually and about 15%. And what kind of companies are you building those rev share relationships with? Everything that ecosystem, moving company, you know, uh, uh, plumbing, photography, video, you know, you name it. Anything to, to be in that $84,000 ecosystem, yeah. which you know can keep going on and on and on, right? So if someone was, let's say they're either a solo agent or they have a team and they wanted to create a relationship like this, how would they do that? What's, what's your process? Yep, we sit down and we discuss this as a business, right? So hey, how does would that? At the end of the day, our key is the end consumer. We gotta take care of them. First. That's right. Most and foremost, just because someone willing to pay us may may not work with them. Yeah. And I actually really love that you keep saying that because yep. I couldn't agree more that that you need to find vendors that align with That's that right. and will take care of your customers because if they're burning your customers, right. you're losing customers too. Exactly, because <laughs> we're all working the same pool, right? Right. Um, so that's the first and foremost. And then we sit down and we find out how could this benefit everybody involved. And I think in any partnership, Oliver, as you know, everyone has to win. Anytime one wins more than somebody else, someone will leave in the relationship. Right. So for us, uh, you know, bring an idea to us, because usually that's where it starts. An agent said, I got this awesome plumber that I love him. Like, let's sit down and talk. Okay, properly licensed, bonded, great review. Another thing that I know you and Sam experience as Mike and I do is when we partner up with somebody, they don't realize that you better learn how to scale. Yeah. Because we grow fast, yeah. right? When you plug right. in a system, it's going to go from two a week to a 15 appointments a week. Right. So can you scale? Yeah. That's probably the next big thing we look at. Okay. And then financially, how does it all help? So again, make sure that we're not padding that over and above what the client was going to pay in the first place. Mm -hmm. So we actually usually start with, will our client get a better deal by going through us versus go straight to you? Right. So it usually might be five, ten percent discount. Oh, I like that. And then we talk about the next step. So, so we'll always build that way. So that's even even one more win in the equation because now the agent's winning, you're winning, the vendor's winning, and the person buying is that's winning because right. they're also getting a discount. Yep. So the, the, the benefits may not just be discount. It could also be uh, preferential treatment, right? Timing, okay. Like Extra I'm services. Go, that's right. Yeah. I'm going to your appointment before I'm going to somebody else. So we want to make sure that they are getting the benefit by being part of this ecosystem with yeah. us. I love that, man. And that, that's really good advice for, for any, because really anybody in the business could do that. It's, uh, it's simply just go out, build some relationships with people that you can refer, mm -hmm. or figure out something that you're already referring out, yep. and then create a relationship yep. where there's a rev share yep. and a discount to the customer, and make sure that they can fulfill and do a yep. great job on the back end so you look like a rock star. Yep. And then, uh, and then everybody wins, and, yeah, and you're making more money. And you're right. So, so let's say you don't have enough of the volume like you guys and we do. As a solo agent or team, they can still do that in different value uh, added, right? For Mr. Buyer Seller, by using you know this vendor, you can get quicker service, whatever. Yep. So they themselves don't have to be getting any financial gain right, either. Exactly. So it has to be a win-win for everybody. Yeah, and it's almost like uh, like group insurance, right? Mm -hmm. Because as an agent, you're plugging into a bigger sphere of buyers. You're getting a discount based on volume. Which that's, is that's why good I think our models, yours and us, are going to start growing pretty fast in this next uh, uh, five years because everything's changing real estate. And I think merger and acquisition will be bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Like a team themselves cannot go out and get an enterprise account, right? right. From discount, this kind of relationship. Yep. So they can join someone like us 
and benefit from it while they still run their business right. without giving up their identity or their goals, right? So the team rich model. So I again, it could be a range. solo agent, could be a team. <laughs> Essentially, you're going to partner with somebody to get all the big company advantages yep. while running your, your business, you know, um, you know, on your own. And doing you. <laughs> yep, yep, and have the, uh, the uh, you know, autonomy. To listen to this full Founders Club interview, go to foundersclub.tv.